It's far too quiet in here. If you don't clap, I will not start. <laughs> thank you, thank you, girls, thank you. Excellencies, Excellency Minister, Excellency Commissioners, Excellency Ambassadors, all VIPs here, you've made our day. It is really, really a pleasure for us as ITU uh, to welcome, first of all, the girls. Thank you for coming. And to welcome all of you excellencies here to celebrate Girls in ICT. 11,100, that's the number of events celebrating Girls in ICT that we've had all over the world since 2010. 171 countries is the number of countries that have participated. And on this day, probably more will be participating in celebrating in their own countries. If you visit our website, you'll see uh, who is doing what. And so far, almost 400,000 girls have participated in these events. But why is it important? Why is it important to celebrate Girls in ICT Day? Celebrating Girls in ICT inspires you, young girls. You hear the stories of those that have succeeded, and you know that you can succeed through ICT. You know that ICT is as much for you as it is for everybody else. We hope that in the next 10 years, because there will be so many, so many jobs, it is estimated that 2 million jobs will be unfilled in this ICT field. And that actually is when you'll be ready for a job or you'll be ready to start your businesses. So you better be ready. Every job that is on the market right now one way or the other, it has an ICT component. So it's something that you really can't ignore. And it's something that becomes easier if you start now, if you start at your age. It is something that becomes now part of you. And any job that you take in future will be that much easier. In fact, it will be easier to get that job, to start that business because nine out of 10 jobs right now uh, involve some sort of ICT. I want to thank you, girls, because being here today, that is the first step to listen to others that have been through the same process, to learn. I know that you've spent, since seven o'clock, you spent, uh, you spent it in workshops learning various things, learning how to use social media, learning how to use the internet in general. I also want to thank you because you are joining a global movement. As I said, all over the world today we are celebrating, and girls like you are going to places like this to listen to people like us and to listen to other uh, young people as well. Uh, about their journey through ICT. As Regional Director for Africa, it's my job to make sure that this message gets through to you, to make sure that my office, the ITU office, facilitates you to make sure that you can get the education, you can get the training, you can get the openings that you need. I would like to mention one of the things, one of the most amazing things that we are doing at the regional office. We have started an initiative in partnership with UN Women and with the African Union. This initiative we call African Girls Can Code. African Girls Can Code, as the title says, it is an initiative that gets young girls like you to learn how to code. Why code? Coding is the basis for everything. 
it is the easiest way to get into the field because how many of you have a mobile phone, have a smartphone? How many? There you go. It's great. Almost each one of you has a smartphone. And with that smartphone, you can actually code and create an application, whether it is just a fun application, whether it is an application to help your community, or whether it is an application for business. But that you can actually do once you learn how to code. You can actually do that on your mobile phone. We are celebrating with a number of girls that are not from here, are not Ethiopian. The majority of them are from Tanzania. Where are you, Tanzanian girls? Could you please stand and be recognized? Let's recognize them. I know that during the sessions that you've had this morning, they've shared what they've been able to do. Please sit. They've been sharing what they've been able to do through coding. And I really want to commend uh, the uh, country of Tanzania, the regulatory office, and also the Universal Service Authority that has made it possible for this movement to catch fire in Tanzania. Through this initiative, the African Girls Can Code Initiative, which started last year, the first, the first coding camp that we held had 85 girls from 34 countries from this continent. Those girls came here with no knowledge or little knowledge about ICT. Guess what? By the time the two weeks ended and they were going home, some of them could actually code robotic work. You know what robotics are? To make those machines move and do things. They could do that. Some of them could code, could connect different devices to one another, what we call Internet of Things. Some of them could write, could code games the games you find on the internet. They could do their own games. Some of them, in fashion design, they were able to design, to code, design, make the dresses, and actually model on our own New York catwalk. They were able to model what they made. You should have seen. Those who were here last, last August saw what they were able to do. And to me, Versace, Ralph Lauren, Christian Dior, they have nothing on these girls. The second boot camp, as we speak, the second boot camp of the African Girls Can Code is taking place as we speak in Pretoria, South Africa. Actually, later tonight, I'll be leaving to join them to celebrate their work and to close that workshop and there are more workshops that will be taking place here. So it is my hope that you girls seated there will be able to participate. I cannot continue without recognizing the Embassy of Denmark that made it financially possible for us to start this project. I really, really appreciate, and I would actually like to give them a clap. Ladies and gentlemen, you young ladies, I'm very, very proud of the work that my office, the ITU Regional Office for Africa is doing. And I'm very proud of the staff that I have who are selfless in everything that they do, but particularly in bridging uh, the gender digital gap. I count on my team every day. Unfortunately, on March 10th, I lost two of our staff in the Ethiopian Airlines accident. Those were Marcelino Rasul Tayop and Meganet Abebe, as you see on the screen. They were not only dynamic colleagues, but they were friends. I have a small office and we see each other every day and we share coffee. And it was 
a great loss to us. They were working very hard to make this event happen. Since the beginning of the year, they were working on organizing a Girls in ICT Day. Marcelino was my senior advisor and my right-hand man, and a very, very wise man who was known all over the continent. We celebrate his life. Let me recognize Mrs. Marcelino, who is actually here with us. Annabella Tayob is right there, and I would like to welcome her as well. <laughs> Meganet Abebe, who worked as uh, Marcelino's uh, admin assistant, she was an incredible young lady. Uh, she had two passions that I know of. One was her kids. She had two young kids, Naomi and Michael, six and three respectively. And her other passion was you, the girls in ICT. She was our key person in organizing this event and when the time came to start organizing, she saw nothing else. As a matter of fact, this Girls in ICT Day, the 25th of April, would have been Meganet's 34th birthday. We celebrate her life. We celebrate the work that she was able to do with us and with you and the fact that you are here, we celebrate that fact that she had a hand in that. One important thing that she had a hand in because she wanted this event to be successful was in identifying who can make the event successful, who would be able to inspire you, who would be able to be your uh, role models. And therefore, she took the initiative and identified one Ethiopian African singer. Hey, girls, Betty G is in the house. We look forward uh, to the celebration. We look forward to releasing you to go and have more fun with coding in there with ICT, but we also hope that everybody will have a successful celebration of Girls in ICT. Happy Girls in ICT Day.